From time to time, Angular community powerhouse Brandon Roberts likes to drop a little something to keep things interesting. This time he posted a prototype of a hypothetical implementation of a new .ng file format for Angular components, essentially providing a Vue or Svelte style approach to component authoring in a way that still results in normal Angular components under the hood. This is almost certainly not coming to the core Angular experience anytime soon, but it is a possibility that we could see something like this in Analog.js. I'll link to some stuff on Analog.js, but essentially it's a meta framework for Angular like Next is for React. Let's compare what creating a simple component might look like with both approaches. We'll just start with Hello World. With the existing format, we would export a class and add the component decorator to it. Within that decorator, we would supply our template with our Hello World message. With the proposed format, we would just add the Hello World message in the .ng file and that's it. But what if we want to add some logic now? Say we want to use a signal in the template. In the existing format, we import signal, create a signal as a class member, and then use it in the template. In the proposed format, we would create a script section to import the signal and create a variable to use it. And then we would use that variable in the template. I've taken the liberty here to assume that if we go down this path, we would eventually no longer use component selectors. But if we take a look at Brandon's original example, we can see that it is still possible to supply the same sort of metadata the component decorator does by exporting this metadata object. There are some side benefits that I like here as well, like being able to destructure more easily like this, uh, not needing to reference this, and being able to just use effects and lifecycle hooks directly instead of needing to add them to a constructor or assign them to class members. But for me, the big win is the developer experience improvement. I know not everyone agrees that this is an improvement. I struggle to see how it isn't, to be honest, but I can see how you could make the argument that introducing a new format for a relatively small DX improvement just isn't worth it either way. But what I think is most important about this change is not the DX improvement for existing Angular devs, but the DX improvement for new or potential Angular devs. The people who are looking at comparisons between syntax or trying their hand at creating an Angular component for the first time. Judging from the conversations I've already had on Twitter about this, I know not everyone agrees, but at least from my perspective, I have to imagine that the proposed example has to be far more intuitive and less intimidating for the vast majority of non-Angular devs. Imagine someone on a podcast explaining how to create an Angular component, perhaps to a more general web dev audience on something like Syntax, or perhaps live coding on something like Learn with JSON. Imagine them explaining that you export a class, then you add a decorator above the class. Yeah, that's a feature TypeScript provides, so we can supply some metadata about the class. So it's just at component. Yeah, you'll just need to import that decorator from Angular Core. Then inside of that decorator, you supply an object. So now you can add a template property to that object and you can supply your template as a string to that property. I won't belabor the point, but I think it's clear how much more smoothly this conversation goes with the proposed format. It would be something like, well, you can just add your HTML directly to the file. Uh, if you want to add some logic, you add a script section and you put it in there. It might seem trivial, but I think these things do have a big impact on people's perception of the framework. From what I've seen, a lot of people's first impressions of Angular is something like, oh, why is there so much boilerplate just to create a component? Angular really does make things complicated. Imagine if instead the reaction could be something like, oh, the components look just like Svelte or Vue. So what makes Angular different? Then we can have people focus on the things that actually make Angular great, like the dependency injection system, rather than getting stuck on what the components look like. I'd love to get a better sense of how people feel about this generally, and I'm sure certain people considering whether to pursue this for Analog.js or not would too. So I'll have a little informal poll as a pinned comment. Keep in mind this is all hypothetical at this point. As I mentioned, it's almost certain we won't see anything like this in Angular itself for a long time, if ever and whether it is feasible, practical, or even desirable for Analog.js to pursue this is still up in the air. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to Brandon and Chow for always keeping things interesting, and I hope to see you back here again for the next video.